You are not going to believe what Laurel Holloman said to me this week at her opening at the Bankside Gallery in London. You know <laughs> that I am never normally speechless and I actually was speechless for a few seconds. So I'm gonna be going over everything that happened at the private opening, the public opening, what happened on my trip, all the awesome subscribers turned friends that I've met and just about the whole trip in general. I do also have some enormous, enormous news that's coming up on the channel. So make sure that you stay tuned to hear about that. And I am actually re-recording this video because I thought, oh, my trip's over and I recorded it, got really busy with work yesterday and sat down to edit. But then Laurel actually was tweeting and she was like liking and like commenting on my tweets. So I wanted to include that too because it was about the show. So we're gonna talk about everything and most of the information is scattered throughout. So make sure you stay until the very end. So to start off and kind of go in as chronological order as I can, I left Tuesday morning really early at like 4.30 a.m. And this won't make sense now, but just remember this in probably a month of me saying, I got a very important text message that Tuesday at 4.30 when I was going to Laurel's show. So that will make sense in a month, I promise. But for now, it remains a mystery. So I flew from, you know, where I live on the Isle of Man and went straight into London. And then I went to the hotel to like check in and everything. And then I met up with Tammy, who a lot of you guys know from my channel. And then we like went to the hairdresser because we're like, oh, I'll get a blowout. It was a thousand degrees in London. Y'all know that I lived in Florida for like 12 years and it was hot for me, so it was boiling. And then the opening was at five, so we got to the gallery like just before, and we were actually like the second people to go in. There was probably about 30 to 35 people, maybe 40 at the private opening overall. It, it wasn't big at all. And so we spent like the first hour and a half just looking at all the amazing paintings. Like I have never seen Laurel's art in person and just the color and vibrance, it was awesome. I really enjoyed the show and the Bankside Gallery were so nice and they were like serving drinks and stuff and the staff was really friendly. So they put on an awesome show and it just was wonderful to see in person. And if you have the chance, I seriously suggest you go because also it's free. So go to the Bankside Gallery and see Laurel's show. It's on now until the 31st of July. So you do have a pretty good window to go and see it. And again, I strongly recommend you do. So Laurel got there about 6.30 and throughout the night, she kind of walked throughout the crowd and like spent a little bit of time with like each group. And we were kind of like hanging back a little bit. And at this stage, I was with Tammy, Dean, Naomi, and Debbie, who I was hanging around with most of the, the few days that I was there. And there was also other people that joined us the next day because they didn't go to the private opening. So by the time it was like our turn for Laurel to come up and talk to us, it was honestly, I cannot believe what she said. And I'm so glad that there was other people there to hear it. And I don't actually think these words, so I, I just wanna make that clear. I'm just repeating what Laurel said to me. So she came up and said, hi. And then she looked at me and she said, oh my God, I know you, you're famous. And at first I thought, oh, she's she maybe is confusing me with someone else because I have like people tell me all the time like oh I feel like I know you but they don't and then she said you're Ash Silver and I was like okay she definitely knows it's me and I just could not believe it like I was a bit dumbfounded and then she like had this big smile on her face and she was like I didn't know you were coming no one told me you were coming and I was like 
who was I supposed to tell <laughs> that I was coming? <laughs> but I had actually sent Marja a message saying, oh, I'm going to Laurel, like really early. I sent her a message saying, oh, I'm going to Laurel's opening tonight. So, I, and I said that, I said, oh, I told Marja. And she's like, oh, she didn't tell me. And I was like, okay, this is insane. And so we started talking back and forth. I was just like, oh, the show's amazing. Congratulations. And I asked her some questions about her process and Tammy was asking her some questions questions too and it was just such a nice experience because you know it's just the little group of us talking to her and she was so lovely and so warm and kind and just really really like lovely lovely person so then she actually said oh does anyone want pictures and we all took pictures by like the paintings that were our favorites pretty much and then when Laurel and I were taking the picture she had like her arm around my shoulder and after the picture had been taken she still had her arm around my shoulder and she like shook me a little bit and she was like I can't believe you haven't asked about the show and I said to her oh no like I'm I'm here to see your show which it gets confusing keep saying show and show and maybe I should just say the L word and I said no like we're here for that you know I, I would never encroach or like disrespect you like that and then she was like oh you're so good and then she just like leant forward a little bit and she like dropped her voice really low and she goes yeah, it's, I'm, I'm really enjoying filming. It's been awesome. And, you know, I'm going to, to Barcelona for the group show. And then it's, it's just been great. And I was like, okay, that was, that was all I needed. (laughs) So she was really sweet. And then she was like talking a little bit about her family and like things that are going on with like other shows and paintings and stuff like that, that maybe is a little bit more personal. So you guys know, I don't talk about personal stuff, people's kids or anything like that. So overall, 11 out of 10, six stars, A++. The entire experience was amazing. I mean, as I've said a lot of times, this channel exists because of Laurel. Like when she came back in season one, episode six, I had to talk about it and I made my channel. And I actually started watching The L Word because of Laurel, because I knew her from Angel. Why'd you wait so long? I wanted to see if you could win. Always. Would have kicked his ass if you hadn't distracted me. I wasn't your problem. Really? You fight wild and like strategy. And passion works against you. And, you know, I knew there was a show coming out about lesbians and then that was my excuse to watch it because I watched everything Buffy and Angel people were in. So that was, that was just Tuesday. <laughs> then we had the, the public opening on the Wednesday. And again, we got there like right at 11 when it opened. And I was with everyone I mentioned before. And then we had lots of other people filter in throughout the day, like Lynn, Debbie, Sally, Kyla. And it was just so nice, like people coming up and saying hi and, you know, talking about about certain things or saying like, oh, I, I really like your channel. And I mean, I've never experienced anything like that. So it, it was just really cool. So we're at Laurel's opening and there's quite a lot of people here already. Some people, but we've got everyone here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so the show's going on, and the, I mean, there was a lot of people there. I I can drop in here when we were waiting to go in. There was a significant line, and I was standing outside the gallery. So I, there was like a big, big poster draping of. Laura Hollum and Deep Dive and like some little posters and stuff. So I took a video of the front of the building and the line and like the posters and things. But then obviously I turned my camera off the same way. I didn't have my camera on in the private opening because well, one, like Laurel was having the conversation. It would have been extremely inappropriate to to video anything like that. And also it, it's the same thing with the the public opening. Like I just didn't feel it was appropriate 
And that's why I wouldn't film inside. Like I took lots of pictures of the paintings and lots of pictures of the people I was with and in the paintings. And I took the picture with Laurel and all that stuff. And so everyone went in. And as I said, it was pretty crowded, way more crowded than than the private opening. And so Laurel arrived and she actually had her suitcase with us because she told us the night before she was going to, to Barcelona pretty much straight away. So when she came in, you know, she was speaking to people and I saw her like signing a lot of stuff for people and taking pictures. We were on, so when you come into the Bankside Gallery, there's like a little reception desk thing and then it like goes just straight back. And actually I saw some people post pictures of like Laurel and and the people around her. And you can see like just my head at the very back. So we were at the back just like talking. And again, there was people that were coming up to me that I hadn't seen yet, like because they weren't at the private opening. And there was some people who'd just come down for the day and, and we were chatting and stuff. So I don't really want to give attention to what happened to. It's the same way with like negative comments and things. Just those people want like attention and all of that. And I think the way Laurel's handled it is pretty much the same way that just don't give it attention. I will talk more about that when I talk about the tweets and stuff, but basically people were being inappropriate and Laurel kind of said, please do not videotape. This is an Elcon, like this is a gallery, please be respectful. And that was all I heard because I wasn't very close. I I just heard that bit and I couldn't really see what was going on that well. Like obviously I just saw kind of the outside ring of the people. So I, I don't really know too much about what was happening, but Laurel left pretty quickly after she'd said that. So it seems as though people just didn't do what she was asking them to do, which was stop recording. So then we stayed for a little while longer after after Laurel had left. And I think we left like around late lunchtime and went to, there was like a little restaurant, like, I mean, two minutes walk away. And so the it was quite a big group by this stage, like 10 or 11 of us. So we went, had lunch, had drinks and, and hung out. And there was actually some people in our group that had had nightmares traveling. And I know there's so many people who sent me messages that they their trains were canceled and people had issues with, with other transportation as well. So I feel really, really bad for those people because I know how much some people were looking for to this so I do hope that they can still make it down to Bankside or make it to another show in the future because I'm sure there will be some more coming up really soon. So the rest of the day was just hanging out with everyone and we went to a really amazing Italian restaurant like very authentic Italian the the same night and just had a great time again I can't say enough how much of a good time I had and then I went home on the Thursday, the Thursday evening, and everybody else I was with mostly stayed till Friday. And so I had a really, really crazy, crazy 14 and a half hour day yesterday. So I wasn't really paying attention to what was happening on like my Twitter and stuff, but a lot of the people I was with had posted pictures and, and things like that of us at the show. And then last night, because I hadn't really had the opportunity to, I, I put out a text just saying how much I enjoyed the show and thank you to Laurel and to Bankside. And I also put in the tweet that my dad is basically clearing wall space because he saw the pictures that I posted on Instagram and he absolutely loved the paintings. So maybe he gets one, maybe he gives it to me, who knows? So I put this tweet out and then basically Laurel again very nicely said thank you and she'd said, in a tweet the day before oh thank you so much for coming to our group like so grateful which is super sweet and then I think my favorite thing that that happened apart from obviously my favorite thing was meeting Laurel and everything she said but then because I haven't obviously put this video out and I've been hyping it up someone had had wrote and replied to the tweet saying did you tell Laurel about your YouTube channel? And Laurel liked it. <laughs> I thought it was so funny because, you know, she clearly 
knows. I'm, I'm not saying that as like arrogant. I'm saying because she told me she knows about it. So that was the entire story of what happened for everyone who wasn't able to make it. And any questions, let me know, of course. But overall, the takeaway from this video should be go to Bankside Gallery and see Laurel Holloman's show. If you have an opportunity to see any of Laurel Holloman's shows, go. Go to Bankside Gallery too if you have any other shows that you want to go and see. And be respectful is is also a big takeaway from this video. And I guess the only other thing to say is make sure that you are subscribed to the only L Word channel that's watched by the L Word cast and crew. So I did talk also before about some huge, huge, huge news that's coming to the channel. I am actually going to be talking about what the news is tomorrow to my patrons on Sunday, July 24th. But the announcement for the channel in general will be towards the end of August because there's some things that are still being worked out, basically. But make sure that you're subscribed and I'll be putting the live stream for that up very soon so that everybody can put the date down. It's it's going to be August 27th, probably at the usual time, although I may do it an hour later just because it's a Saturday and then that also is usually better for the US, but it's not late enough that it, you know, interferes with the UK and Europe. So hopefully that sounds good to everyone. I also will be giving away a catalog that's signed by Laurel because I got an extra one because I know there was so many people who wanted to go this, to this show and couldn't. And all you have to do to win is comment on this video. If you can't think of anything to comment, comment your favorite Laurel painting. And also make sure you're following me on social media because you never know, could be tweeting with Laurel Holloman. So that's reason enough. And also make sure to follow my Instagram to stay up to date with absolutely everything that's going on with the L Word Generation Q season three. And as always, make sure to stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.